The NFL is back, and I kind of feel like talking about it a little. Welcome to the newest episode of SDW. Super Dario World! It's-a me, Dario! Woohoo! Let's go! Alright, so I'm t- don't worry about it. I'm not going to break down any of the games or anything like that. Uh, this is not that type of show. Even though I- I've had people that started asking me, to, you know, dude, you should talk about more sports and stuff. But I don't know. I've been kind of out of it. And that's uh, that's kind of one of what I want to talk about because I realized this yesterday, uh, particularly about the NFL. I've been so out of it, so out of it. I didn't even know that the preseason game started yesterday. I, I think there was another one before, but I've been so completely out of the NFL for the past couple of years that I didn't even know. And honestly, I didn't even care. Now, for those of you who don't know, I work at a restaurant. I'm a bartender at a restaurant, sometimes server. And uh, Thursdays and Mondays, Thursdays, Mondays, and and Sundays used to be my favorite shift because I basically get paid to watch football games, right? It's great. I mean, every once in a while, I pay attention to a customer, but mostly I'm just paying attention to the games. And (laughs) so it used to be great. And now, I, it was a Thursday night. I think it was my first Thursday night in a while. I hadn't been there in a bit because um, uh, an employee asked for it for the day off. And I was like, all right, okay, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll be a team player. I'll, I'll cover your shift. And I was there and all of a sudden it's like, oh, wow, the NFL's back. I had no idea. And uh, it was an interesting feeling because, again, I was very, very deep into the NFL. But I think it has a lot to do with, uh, you know, the Chargers leaving. And this is something that I spoke to a listener a listener with uh, very very recently. I believe it was this week. And he reached out and he's like, dude, are you still a Charger fan? And I told him, yeah, honestly, I still am. And growing up, uh, my, my dad's favorite team was the Chargers and, and the Padres. And so, you know, you grow up with that in your house. That's the team that you've been rooting for your entire life, my my most of my family members are hardcore Charger fans, so it's like okay, yeah, that's that's gonna be my team. Now, um, after the Chargers left, for those of you who don't know, I live in San Diego, so and and I grew up in Mexico, by the way. For those of you who don't know, I grew up in TJ, so it was kind of in the area, and that's why my dad rooted for the Chargers. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, so when the Chargers left, I remember it was a very odd feeling. I, I did not know exactly how to feel about it. I I I I know I don't like that they left. I don't like it. But um, I don't like the way they left. So mathematically, the argument for leaving makes sense. Now, because if you leave San Diego, your franchise will be worth double. Uh, I could understand that argument. So if anybody told me, hey, dude, if you go to L.A. for another job and you get paid twice as much, uh, would you leave? I'd say, yeah. I mean, I love my job here. I love everything here. But still, I'm getting paid twice as much. I'd probably leave. So... On that side, I can understand it. I could also understand if they said, you know what? Oops, I forgot to turn the thing off on my phone. I also understood if they said, you know what? The politicians here, they just, they failed us. They, they couldn't, we couldn't make things work here. We tried. We wanted to stay here for the fans, blah, blah. I could understand that as well. No, they didn't do that. And, uh, I'll, I'll, by the way, I also understand the other side of the argument, like, why should a billion dollar company be getting tax breaks and, and freebies from the people, blah, blah. I understand both of those sides, and that's not what I'm going to argue right here. Uh, I'm going to argue with what they did, or against what they did, or, or I'm just going to talk about what I didn't like. I did not like that they left like a thief in the middle of the night, and they didn't even say goodbye and thanks for all the fish. Nothing. They were just like, well, screw you guys. We're going uh, all all the years that we've been here, all the years that you've been following, all that stuff. Later. That's it. Uh, not even a thank you or anything. Um I th- I thought that I was raised to be, you know, like you should be a man. A man should face, should own up to his stuff. And it, if Dean Spanos, the Spanos are the owners of the charges, by the way. If they would have, you know, shown their face to the people and, you know, taken, the, it, it was not going to be a good news. All right. Nobody was going to like it. But if they would have been out there and they would have explained the situation and, and, and looked you in the eye and said, you know what, we really appreciate everybody here. Uh, but the opportunity for us to, to grow the franchise, to make it, double its worth its value to play in the state of the art stadium um is something that we cannot pass up and the politicians in the city have been letting us down for over a decade they've been lying to us and i don't think that's fair and it's an opportunity we cannot pass up given that the options here don't seem uh, aren't aren't workable we still love you guys we consider you part of our family we want you to keep stay being part of our family 
how uh, and stuff like that. Something like that would have been okay. I accept that. I still would be upset that they're not here, but I, I would have accepted that. You know, just be a man and own up to your stuff. Be a man. That's not what they did. What they did was like kind of like, well, see you later, losers. We're gonna go and get a brand new fan base up in L.A., which so far has been non-existent. People in L.A. don't care about the NFL and in the N- and particularly about the Chargers. And I know there's a few fans. I actually went to a game up there. Uh, I-, I went to two actually, and there's there's a few fans up there, but most of them are from San Diego. <laughs> and. <laughs> And uh, overall, the the experience that I had, I remember I went to an Eagles game, and uh, it was just a, a big a big sea of green. And uh, I know that Eagles fans have a rep for being the worst fans out there. It's between probably them or the Raiders. To me, I'd say the Raiders, just because I've had more interaction with Raider fans, and so we've we've talked shit more. I've talked shit more with Raider fans than I have with Eagles fans. And uh, I, by the way, I don't think that they're bad people. They're, they're just the rivals of the team that I grew up with. So we, we, I, I tend to talk shit more with with Raiders fans. Okay, I just do. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, and so Eagles fans who have a rep for being among the worst fans in the NFL felt pity for us. They weren't even heckling. They weren't even saying shit. Uh, I think yeah, their team won that game, but they were just like, dude, sorry, man, that's it's rough. It's rough. And so they looked at us with pity. They they pitied us so much that they wouldn't even make fun of us. Not even heckle. Not even be like, oh, yeah, it was a great season. Suck on that, blah, blah. We scored. Nothing. Nothing. And that was a very that was a very disturbing feeling. Now, ever since they left, if they left for money uh, in the way that they did to me, my decision was like, yeah, all right, fine. You're just not going to get my money anymore. I'm not going to go to games. I'm not going to buy merchandise. I'm not even going to watch the show on <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not the show the, the games on like on cable. Uh, on TV. If I watch them, it'll be at work or I'll go to a bar. That way you won't even get my ratings. So <laughs> and <laughs> so that that's the way that I was going to do it. I ended up going to a couple of games because a friend of mine has, has season tickets and he was like, dude, you want to go? Come on, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, fine. It's not my money. It's not, it's, you're, they're not getting my money. If it's his money and he if he's still a hardcore fan and uh, he's my friend and he wants me to go and all right, I'll go in that situation. Also, I was curious to see the stadium situation there, which is still pretty sad. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. So I hated that they neglected the fans. They they treated us really badly to the point that we ended up siding with the politicians. And you guys, if you've listened to the show long enough, you know how I feel about politicians and the government. They all suck, especially in California, especially in San Diego. Well, not especially in San Diego, but it's pretty bad. Anyway, so they ended up... they That ended up giving me like a really bad feeling in my mouth and the own the only reason why i'm still a charger fan is because a i know the players i got to meet some of them personally uh fortunately via working through through the station here rock 105.3 by the way i forgot to mention this if you want to listen to the podcast you can find it in the iHeartRadio radio app just type uh, just type in the show present super diary world or you can find it on on out oh, soundcloud no more i'm well you will still be able to find it but just not the older ones I'll keep it there, just but I'll keep the free account. I'm not going to keep paying for that. But you can find it on iTunes and YouTube as Super Dire World Podcast. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. So I got to meet uh, a few of the players via the station that I work in, Rock 105.3. And really nice people, really, really great guys. And um, also, I, I remember when the news came down, I talked with my dad about it. Because I wanted to know, he he's the bigger fan. And I'm a fan because of, because of him. And I wanted to know how he felt about it. And his answer was, well, I mean... I've been Mex- uh, I've been in Mexico all this time being a fan, so they've never really been in my city. So what's the di- and, and I I rarely ever went to the stadium. So what's the difference between watching them in on TV when they're in San Diego and watching them in TV when they're in, when they're in LA? They're like, all right, okay, fair enough. That's a that's a fair enough argument. And if that's how my dad feels about it, who is the biggest fan I know of the team, um, until my brother, but my brother's kind of a psycho. But <laughs> no offense, I mean a little offense. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> and it's like okay, oh, and I'm a fan because of him. I'm like, all right, okay, I'll, 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 I'll see things your way, but I'll, I'll still be adamant about them not getting my money, because that's just a personal thing. Anyway, but I've, I've been noticing yeah before a few years ago. Oh, I got really into the NFL. I remember exactly the day that I got really into the NFL, and it was because of gambling. Now, my brother, my older brother, um. He told me one day, like, dude, you want to go to the casino, blah, blah, bet on some games. 
And I was like, nah, I don't feel like wasting my money. And he was like, dude, you know that with two bucks, you could make $15,000? And I was like, what? Jesus! Are you kidding me? And so since that day, I've been hooked. Um, <laughs> gambling is so much fun. It's so much fun. And uh, it's not as simple as that. I mean, you have to get like 15 games. Uh, but it costs, with the $2 tickets, uh, you can if you get 15 games correct, you can win... Uh, I said 15. I think it is 15. And you can get, um, win up to 15 grand, right? Which is a lot of money. It's a lot of money for two bucks. But uh, so far, the closest I've ever gotten is 11. But it made my Sundays more interesting. It made everything more interesting because now you, you, you have some, some, uh, some meat in there, you know? You, you, have, you have a stake in the games and you start paying attention to the teams and all that stuff. Afterwards, they invited me to play a fantasy league with my family. I'm not a big fantasy guy, but all right, fine. They need an extra player. I'll, I'll play in there. Then I got invited to another one with with my brother and some of his friends. I was like, all right, fine. I'm I'm okay. I'll I'll do it because it, it, it's it's enjoyable and also because uh, one of the leagues that I play on the rules are insane. No no joke. I've been in that thing for years and I still don't understand the rules. The points are insane. You make like a thousand points on <laughs> a player can make a thousand points and you don't really understand how. It, it, it's ridiculous, but whatever. I, I like the interaction with my cousins and stuff. Uh, the other one, it has normal rules, so you can play like a like a civilized human being. <laughs> uh, and then I started my own thing uh, with family members. It would, it, I, I think I heard it on the radio. I think I heard it in the Loose Cannons. It's a game that they do. And pretty much, here are the rules. Um Every week you pick three games and you pick a uh, you pick a team to win to win in three three games. If you and you number them. You you got your number one pick, your number two pick, and your number three pick. If your number one pick wins, you get three points. If your number two wins, you get two points, and your number three wins, you get one point. So in a weekend you could make six points total, right? If you get all three right. However, the Monday night game of that of that week, of that week of games it, you pick a number, and whoever gets the number closest to the final score of the game wins uh, wins an a, an extra point. Now, this year I'm going to add a rule that if you actually pick the exact score, you'll get two points. But I don't, I don't know. I, I'm I'm still I, I, it still needs to be approved by everybody else. Anyway, uh, we it's twenty bucks to get in. We do that. It's a lot of fun. It, again, it, it made things more interesting. I was really into the NFL. And so to me, it was weird this Thursday just realizing, like, holy shit, I don't know anything. I'm still part of, like, this these two fantasy leagues and this other league that I technically run, and I have no idea what anybody's doing. It's weird. It's um, it's a weird feeling because I want to get back into it because I enjoy, again, gambling. And gambling is fun. And I've never spent more than 10 bucks a weekend, ever. And I think overall, I think I've won more money than I lost. That honestly, it's not even about the money. It's about the excitement that I get from it. Because you make a you make a two dollar bet on the fifteen games, and then you make a four dollar bet on five games, and four dollar bet on four games. It it evens out, and so it and the odds are way better. So it it's weird. I love it so much that that part of it. And have you ever you know just realized that you might be over something? It it's it's kind of an interesting feeling. And I, I want to know how how do you guys feel about it. How how do you guys feel that the Chargers left? Are you still really into the NFL? Did you find another team? How did you cope with it? How did you, or did you just get really into your own fantasy stuff? Did you really get into, I don't know, gambling? Did you do something else? I don't know. Anyway, that was just my rant for today. Uh, I'm hoping that I, well, uh, I'm not hoping. I need to turn it around because uh, I'm highly competitive. And it's not just like I'm going to roll over and die in my fantasy stuff. I want to win. If I play, I'm playing to win bitches so i gotta turn around so actually you know what even better if you guys have any tips or anything for for me please hit me up because i'm gonna have my draft soon <laughs> now fortunately i have access to eddie and thor and uh so i can ask them if i can ask him a few questions and he can help me out i try i try not to do that i like to i like winning by myself it's only like if i'm really really in a hard situation where i ask him i think overall last season i asked him through advice three times that was it and by the way, he got it wrong. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, 
I don't, I have no idea who to go for. I don't even know what spot I am in the draft. I need to check all that stuff out. But <sighs> hopefully I'll get into it a little bit more. And uh, I might even talk a little bit more sports here. You know, sometimes kind of like in the intro that I do here. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you enjoy that? Would you enjoy maybe a little bit more sports talk? Not too much. Just a little bit. I don't know. Let me know. Anyway, that's it for today. That's what I had in my mind. Um, I'm finishing up editing the the review for The Boys. The Boys Season 1. Uh, it, it The the written review is already up on ReviewNation.net. The video should be up there in about, I don't know, let's say an hour. I don't think it should be taking me more than an hour to do it. But that's it for today. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, as always, if you want to contact me, uh, any comments, questions, or suggestions for just the chat, you can find me at Dario the Show on Instagram. Uh, thank you for listening, and I hope you have a great weekend.